When performing an oil change in a Darley pump gear case, these are the tools of the trade that you're going to need. You need an 11 millimeter wrench for removing the drain plug. We'll need a uh, flat blade, a large flat blade screwdriver for removing the dipstick. And you'll need two quarts of ADW90 gear lube, shown here with the, uh, the nice tapered tip, which will make it uh, much easier to get it into the, uh, the fill port once the, um, once the dipstick's removed. I've also got a dipstick here and a magnetic drain plug out here on the bench here to show you what these two components look like. These are going to be the components you're working with on the bottom of the gear case when all is said and done. So here you can see the dipstick with the two, the low level mark and the high level mark scribed into the dipstick itself. So these are the parts, parts we'll re be removing from the gear case. This is what you'll be using for when you want to check the oil level. This is what you want to remove when you want to drain the oil level. Once we drain the oil level, we'll then put this plug back in and then we'll fill the level of the oil up until it's at the high level mark using the ADW90 gear lube. And again, all you need is an 11 millimeter wrench to remove the drain plug and a flat blade screwdriver to remove the dipstick. All right, let's get started. All right, today we're down underneath one of the gear cases of an LDM BC fire pump. The purpose of this video here today is to show you a couple of maintenance features including how to check the oil level of the uh, Darley pump gear case as well as how to drain the oil of this uh, LDM BC pump gear case. We'll start by showing you how to check the oil level. You need to remove the dipstick that's positioned in the, the, the passenger side of the gear case just alongside of the rear tail shaft. You can see here I'll zoom in on that knurled dipstick nut. Uh, you'll need to get a large screwdriver, a large flat blade screwdriver and come in from the, uh, the top side and loosen that uh, that lock nut or that, uh, that the dipstick bolt and uh, turn it counterclockwise to remove it. So you can see we've got a large flat blade screwdriver here where we're going to uh, go into this plug and loosen the, the dipstick. Okay, we've got the screwdriver in place. We'll go ahead and we'll start to rotate. And the dipstick is uh, sealed by an O-ring, so you need to remove it, and then you'll need a shop rag handy to uh, check the level. Here you can see the dipstick on the bench now, and uh, what we have here is the, uh, the body of the dipstick itself. There's a low level mark here and a high level mark that's scribed into that dipstick here. You want the oil level in that gear case to be somewhere between the low level mark and the high level mark. So when you pull the dipstick off, you wipe it out, you push it back down into the hole, thread it back in, back it back out, and the oil level should be somewhere in this, in this range. If it's not, what you'll want to do is you'll want to get some of the ADW90 gear lube and I recommend getting the type here that has the, uh, the uh, tapered tip on it. So you take the cap off, take the seal out of the inside, and add ADW90 until you, uh, until you bring the oil level back up to the top of this knurled fitting here. So this would be, anywhere in here is a safe level, but I try to keep it full up here to the top of that knurled point. So um, we were right at the proper level today. The next thing that we're going to do now is take out the drain plug, drain all of the gear lube out, and show you how to make a complete gear lube change. You will need to pre prepare by getting yourself two quarts. It takes about a quart and three quarters, or 1.8 liters, which this is about 0.96 liters. 
So you will need basically two quarts of this ADW90 gear lube to uh, make this change. So we'll start by getting this container ready. We'll remove the tip and uh, peel the seal off of this container. You want to be very clean. You want to do this in an area where you can keep the, uh, the cleanliness at a very high level. You don't want to be dropping any debris or any pieces of the wrapper inside of here. Um, and you also want to be sure that you're doing this in an area where you're not getting a lot of dust or sand blown into that gear case once you have this uh, drain put plug, um, this dipstick removed from that gear case. So uh, try to wipe down the area as much as you can before removing the dipstick. Blow the area clean or um, you know, spray that area with water and let it dry sufficiently before removing that dipstick. So we've got the container open. You will need two of these containers and the next thing we'll be taking this tip off and cutting this tip with a razor blade just making the, the small hole so that we can uh, accurately get all that, uh, uh, that gear lube into that gear case. Alright, so here we are now back at the bottom of the gear case. You can see here I'm zoomed in on the, uh, the drain plug itself. So my assistant here will loosen up that drain plug, again using that 11 millimeter wrench. Sometimes we use an inverted hex wrench. In this case it is a um, square, a square plug, a square headed plug. So you just need to put a wrench on it of appropriate size to back that thing out counterclockwise. Keep removing it until the, uh, the drain plug can easily be removed by your fingers. And then get your drain plug re or your uh, drain pan ready to catch the uh, the used ADW90 gear lube that comes out of that plug once the uh, plug's removed. Here comes our old oil. Again, this is ADW90 gear lube. It should be changed approximately every 50 to 100 pumping hours. And, um, and then also based on so many miles. This is the same gear case that will be rotating whenever the fire pump or whenever the, uh, the chassis itself is just being driven around. So even if the fire pump is not being used often, this gear lube is still in the main drivetrain from the vehicle transmission to the rear wheels of the vehicle. So I would recommend at least once a year this oil be changed and replaced with new ADW90 gear lube. And just let this uh, let this oil continue to drain until all of it is uh, drained from the gear case, and then you'll wipe up this area and um, check the condition of the magnetic drain plug. If you can, uh, we'll get a close up here of that end of that magnetic drain plug. Get a good get a good look at it. Get yourself a nice clean shop rag and wipe the, any contaminants off of that uh, magnetic drain plug. Its job is to catch some of the normal metal filings that will start to uh, uh, collect on the end of this magnet. It is normal for some metal filings and shavings to start to collect here. That's why we use this magnetic drain plug. If you see a significant amount of metal on this drain plug, you may want to uh, open up the inspection, the side of the gear case, and uh, determine where it's coming from. But for the most part, you should just see small amounts of metal shavings. If you see a large amount, contact Darley and, and troubleshoot what may be going on. So we'll let this uh, gear case continue to drain here for a few minutes, and then we'll clean up the area and, and uh, wipe off the drain plug and put it back into the drain hole. And then we'll show you how to refill that gear case. Now the area has been wiped up, the drain plug is back into position and we're sure you're gonna, now we're going to show you how to tighten that drain plug back up. So we'll go ahead and start uh, putting that plug back in, tighten it back up. And you want to put a, a good significant amount of, of um, force on it. Not, you don't want to over tighten it, use common sense here. I would guess probably you know, 10 to 20 foot pounds of torque is all you're going to need for this, for this uh, uh, drain plug to be sufficiently tight so that it's not leaking. Again, don't over tighten it, but uh, you don't want to leave it loose. If you notice oil dribbling from that drain plug area, it's probably still too loose. 
And then once the drain plug is tight, then we'll be focusing our efforts here on the, uh, the dipstick fill port where we'll be uh, positioning our ADW90 gear lube and putting in our uh, 1.7 to 1.8 liters which is about 1.6 quarts of uh, gear lube into that hole. Alright so now we have the uh, the fill port once again located here. We've positioned our ADW90 gear lube uh, above the hole with the uh, the cap still on the end of that you know tapered tip so what we're going to do now is we're going to pop the tip off and um, start getting the oil into that fill port be careful not to get the tip into the hole itself alright so now we've got the gear lube going into the fill port from above. And a few squeezes of the of the tube once in a while to help uh, force the the, the uh, ADW90 gear lube into the hole then let it breathe some air and then give it another squeeze and then let it breathe some air. It's probably the best, best method of uh, of working the gear lube from the bottle into your, into your fill port. And again, the first um, full quart, you know, even if you lose a little bit, it's not a big deal. We don't need a full two quarts into the gear case. It's about, you know, one and three quarters quarts. So use the first bottle and uh, squirt the entire contents into the gear case. And then our recommendation is with the next bottle to um, pour it into the empty bottle that we've just that we're using now and only fill it up about three quarters full so that you know exactly how much to put in so we'll continue putting the contents of this bottle into the gear case and then we'll uh, swap over and we'll do bottle number two all right and to avoid overfilling the gear case what I recommend since we don't need a full two quarts in the gear case using the empty bottle that we just used to start filling the gear case and the full one here sitting alongside I recommend just taking the full one we'll put the tip on it here and just squirt uh, about a quarter of it into the empty container bring it down to about three quarters of a quart that's probably about good now you've got about three quarters of a quart based on the side of it. We've got about a quarter of a quart here. You could put your unused tip on this bottle and save it for your next uh, one of your next changes. So now we'll put this um, three quarters of a quart into the gear case and uh, put the dipstick in. We'll check our fill level and we'll be all done. Now we have bottle number two the second quart being uh, squeezed into the fill port once we have this bottle completely evacuated of oil and all the oil is into the gear case we'll then wipe down the area and uh, grab our dipstick and thread our dipstick into the hole until it bottoms out and then we will um, pull it back out and uh, check the level alright now that the, uh, the gear case oil has been added to the gear case now we're going to put the dipstick in thread it into the hole finger tight once it's threaded in then we can turn around and back it right back out and then grab a rag and check our uh, oil level okay, now we'll go ahead and remove that dipstick Now the dipstick's coming out. We'll remove it. Check to make sure that the gear lube is up to that second mark. And we're full. Yep. So all we need to do is put the dipstick back in, tighten it up with our flat blade screwdriver just sufficiently enough to seal the O-ring, and we're all done.
And again, the final step is we just tighten up the, uh, the drain plug with a large flat blade screwdriver, get it sufficiently snug so that you don't have to worry about any leaking. And that's all there is to it. We are complete.